Jack. I never imagined how much my life would change after meeting you. You make everything better. My sad days are better because of you. My happy days are even happier because of you. Coming home after a long day of work is better knowing that you are there waiting for me. I did not know that I could ever be this happy or that life could be this good. Good afternoon, my sisters and brothers. Today is an afternoon where we celebrate the greatest love that two human beings can experience. Jesus joining them together in his own love as man and wife. But Jack and Rachel do not come here to do that alone. Their parents, their siblings, their relatives and their friends have all taught them and given them the gifts of love. Rachel, we did it. Look at us, baby. It's happening. It's our wedding day. You have put so much time and effort into making this day beautiful, and beautiful it's going to be. brothers, your closest girl cousin isn't just a friend to play with and see with on holidays. She becomes your pseudo sister. You bond by trading toys and sharing secrets, matching clothes, and even memorizing drink orders. It was always Rachel and Nicole and the boys tagging along, or maybe the other way around, but needless to say, we were inseparable. Our childhood consisted of all of us being super tight-knit, sleepovers, vacations, lake trips, you name it. The Sagan sisters had us cousins attached at the hip. But the true inspiration for our close family came from someone near and dear to our hearts, our Baba. She raised us all to be family oriented and to always stick together. And that's what we've done. Rachel and Jack, I can say with full certainty that she's proudly smiling down on both of you today. And I hope all of her lessons on family, love, and togetherness guide you both as you start your brand new family today. The key picture would be, I guess, this one today. <laughs> Off they go. We met up at Lake Ariel, and I was at my friend's house, which is two houses over from hers, and her best friend Lindsay saw my Snapchat. Very and said, millennial. Yeah, very millennial. Say, come over to Rachel's house, we're hanging out here having a fire, so we went over and we just kind of started talking and things kind of went from there, but that was the first night that we met, like truly Officially met. Officially met. Yeah. We'd both been going there for our entire lives. Our entire lives for the summers yes. and my house is four houses away from his house and we never crossed paths, never really crossed paths until this summer. Everything happened pretty quick. We met in August when our first date, the beginning of September, and I think we both said I love you in October. Yeah. <laughs> it went very quick, but when you know, you know. <laughs> Oh my God, look at you. You're beautiful. You look handsome too. Thank you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. It's an honor for me to do this wedding because I know both families fairly well. So I'm sorry because I know the family well. This will go till midnight. Just sit back, relax. And the thing I love about weddings to designate that it's something very special is the anxiety of a wedding. I love to watch the bridesmaids coming up 
and very nervous and shaking a wee bit. I love to watch the tenderness of the father kissing his daughter, Michael, and then presenting the two of them before the altar of God to become one as a symbolic gesture. But what you do not see is what's going on in the sacristy with the groom and the best man walking around and we get that trace going in the sacristy and John saying, you know, I wasn't nervous till I'm here, now it's for real. In a lot of ways growing up, Jack and I, we were very different. Like he was the very outgoing people person who could have a conversation with anyone about just about anything. I, you could say I was the more reserved, mellow, dare I say, artsy kind of guy. But as much as Jack has loved tossing me around like a rag doll growing up, the one thing I could always count on was him tossing anyone else around like a rag doll if anyone dared mess with his baby brother. So, I guess, to get a little corny, uh, you could say he is there sometimes as my enemy, but he is there always as my hero. Rachel, not that you don't already know this, but that's why you can take my word for it. They could always count on him to be there for you too. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Jack, you should know. So I proposed Christmas morning. Um, it was our first Christmas in our new house and we woke up really early and we went out, we opened gifts and we're just kind of sitting there. We finished our gifts and everything and I said that there's one more gift behind the tree. Crawled behind, behind the tree. Crawled behind the tree and was looking and she just gets up, didn't turn around to me yet and said there's nothing behind this tree. And then when she turned around I was on one knee and proposed. Yeah. I honestly thought there was going to be a puppy or diamond earrings behind the tree. <laughs> but, she got a ring. but I got a ring instead. Yeah. Much better. Everybody snowed in, but we got the fire going. Who cares what the weathermen say? You're with the ones we love on Christmas Day. I did not know it was going to happen. I think I even joked with him once that I thought Christmas proposals were cheesy. <laughs> but no, I did not know it was going to happen. But it was the perfect day because we got to spend the rest of our day telling everybody that we were engaged and celebrating with all our friends and family all day long. So it was a great day. Every house we went to was a blast because mm -hmm. you had to walk in and hold your hand up yeah. and run through. Everyone and get... greeted us with yeah. cheers. <laughs> and cheers, cheer, champagne. And, and champagne, <laughs> lots of champagne. Mm -hmm. So it was a really fun day. Yeah, it was. Feel the heart fire burden, baby. Tell that story one more time. We're going to spend our night living in Christmas style. All night living in Christmas style.
So my prayer on your wedding day is this. John, I want you every day to look into your wife, Rachel, and look just for a few moments and to see her gifts and her beauty. See her talents, her vulnerabilities, her fears. Take a look at how she can have faith that leads to hope and a hope that leads to love. Look deeply into her soul and see God. He will be there. And Rachel, my prayer for you is likewise. Look into your husband. See his fears and vulnerabilities, his weaknesses, but look more deeply until you see his talents and his gifts and his love. Look until you see his soul. In there you will find Jesus himself. I, John. I, John. Take you, Rachel. Take you, Rachel. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All of the days of my life. I, Rachel. I, Rachel. Take you, John. Take you, John. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You are now man and wife. Rachel has been my best friend, therapist, teammate, classmate, former roommate, and truthfully, the closest thing I'll ever have to a sister. Rachel and I hit it off way back in 97 in Y Pals, and honestly, I don't remember my life from that moment on without her in it. From preschool through elementary school to those uncomfortable and mortifying middle school years, our fun then continued on into our bittersweet and sports-infested high school years and on to separate colleges, then eventually to moving in together after college and Rachel shortly moving out after a year because she got a new roommate. Thanks a lot, Jack. We knew this day would eventually come where we'd have to share our person with someone else. From the moment we met Jack, we knew he'd be the guy to fill those shoes, and to be quite honest, he has done more than just that. Jack, we know we don't have to tell you to take care of our girl because you already do. We appreciate and love you more than you know for giving us peace of mind that Rachel is married to the best guy in town. So we could all raise our glasses. Jack, Rachel. I love you both dearly, and as you begin your new life together as husband and wife, I wish that that life is filled with nothing but good health, good fortune, endless laughter, and of course, endless love. Congratulations, you guys.
cry as I write this because I think of us and where we started. Two kids up the lake, just hanging out. And look at us now. We really can do anything. Honey, I promise to always put you and I first. I want to give you everything you'll ever need in this life. You're my inspiration, Rachel. You've made me who I am today, and I will continue to be the best man I can be for you, our boys, and future children. We're going to create the most amazing life together. Thank you for being you, the love of my life. This celebration is truly just beginning. Let us now greet John and Rachel as husband and wife.